Amen. Mm -hmm. I want to welcome you once again. This is your host, Prophetess Dr. Christine Sigi. Welcome you from Overcomers Deliverance and Healing Ministry, uh, Brampton, Ontario, Canada. Welcome once once again. I'm going to continue with the subject that I left in this morning. Some of you, uh, you, you, have, you have done a replay about uh, the prayer that I, I, I was doing. And uh, I will continue. It's not going to take long. Because I promise that I will con co continue this prayer and I will finish it to, to, tonight. And the, the prayer, it will come up. I will uh, abroad tomorrow or tonight. And uh, it shall be well. It shall be well. So... Just uh, if you didn't have part one, you will get part one and part two to tonight or tomorrow morning. It is a very powerful prayer that I want everyone to hear in Jesus' name. Thank you, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. The prayer is called How to Break Curses and Return to, 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 the, to Themselves. How to Break the Curse and Return to Themselves. How to Break the Curse and Return to Themselves. How to break the curse and turn to themselves. That is the prayer. And I'm going to ask Agnes uh, uh, if you can read for us the book of uh, the book of uh, <laughs> Hallelujah. Okay. Dr. Rind, please read for us. Dr. Rind, have a Bible from the book of Revelation 13, verse 10. Thank you. There's a lot of echo in the prayer, and that's why uh, the sister cannot be able to read. Amen. Revelations 13, verse 10. Yes. He who leads into captivity shall go into captivity. He who kills with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. Can you repeat again? Revelation 13:10. Yes. He who leads into captivity shall go into captivity. He who kills with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here you... is the patience yes. and the faith of the saints. Yes. You know, the Bible is very clearly saying this. This is the, the book of Revelation. Ten, 13 verse 10. It said, he, he that leads into captivity shall go unto the captivity. He, he that kill it with the sword must be killed with the sword. You know, he who killed with the sword, the person who is using a sword to kill others shall be killed also with the, the same sword. That's how the prayer that we pray to break the curse and turn it Turn to themselves. You know, as we were talking about Naman, Naman prepared a, a garo to kill a Mordecai. The very garo he prepared is the garo that killed him. So, wherever use any sword, use any witchcraft, use any words, words against you, it that anything they are doing, it will backfire. It will return to themselves. We look at the book of. Uh, of Psalms 108, 109. How the, those people who love curses and the curses will come upon themselves. So wherever is planning to do you harm, wherever is planning to do you evil, it will come to themselves. That's why I want to tell you that wicked people, they plan evil, they sit down and plan how to do wicked and evil to destroy your life. But the evil and the plans they are planning, it will, it will turn to back to themselves. It they will do to themselves. You can see what happened to, uh, to Haman. Uh, uh, Haman, who prepared a garo, he was very happy. He went and prepared a garo very well. And they said, okay, this garo is going to kill Mordecai and the rest of the Jews. Now, he was very happy. He, when he prepared, he was so happy. He, he thought that he, he is going to kill Mordecai. But instead, the very girl killed him. So the sword the enemy is using, it will kill himself. The Bible is clear. Look at that scripture again. Look at it very closely. So any arrow fired to you, 
Those arrows, I commanded them to return and go back to the sender and kill the sender. You have to be a very aggressive and, and, and very, 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 very aggressive with the holy anger. You cannot watch the enemy destroying your children, destroying you. You simple return every arrow, every sickness back to the sender. Let it turn to themselves. That is how you break it and destroy it and, and turn to, back to themselves. The witches and the wizards, they sit down, they put spells on people, they curse you, and the, the curse is working against you. Therefore, I pray that any curse that has been placed against you, attacking your children, attacking you, that, that, that has made you to suffer, I break that curse and I return back to the sender. You know, I gave an example in the morning. There was this man, he has a master's degree, but he can't get a job. He, has, he, get, he went even to other countries. He went to South Africa, to Tanzania. He could get a job. They hired him for, for two to three months. The man is fired or he resigned himself. And they, they, they come and pay the ticket, everything, to go to work somewhere. He can't finish even two to three months. The man is resigning or is fired. That is a curse. When a curse is put in somebody, you can't achieve anything. You will get a job. You will celebrate, you'll be happy. And then the next thing, either you resign or you, you, are, you are fired. That is a curse. Therefore, a curse like that, you, you will break that curse and command the, that curse to go to the, pan, the, the owner, back to the sender. It will return back to themselves. Wherever they are planning against you, it will return back to the sender back to themselves. That is how it is. Many people, they are suffering and the honor is there. Let this honor carry their road and carry it and feel it in Jesus' name. Let's look on the book of, uh, of, uh, of, of Jeremiah, Jeremiah 17, verse 18. The book of Jeremiah 17, verse 18. Glory be the name of Jesus. Lord, I want to appreciate you and thank you. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Yes, Lord. God, you are so good. Jeremiah 17, verse 18. Jeremiah 17, verse 18. Yes. Let them be ashamed who persecute me, but do not let me be put to shame. Let them be dismayed, but do not let me be dismayed. Bring on them the day of doom and destroy them with double destruction. Amen. Now here, Jeremiah, this is the Jeremiah, the, the prophet. He is saying, the word of God is very clearly here, says, let them be confounded that persecute me, but let not me be confounded. Let them be dismayed, but not let me be dismayed. Bring unto them. Yes, Lord, thank you, Jesus. My God, I want to thank you. Glory be the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. God, you are so good. The Bible says, let destruction, double destruction, fall upon them. Let double destruction fall upon them. Wherever is planning evil, Jeremiah is saying, not me. Anything they are doing, not me, but not me. Look at that. He said, let them confound it, but not me. So, so any curses, anything they are doing against you, let it go back to the sender. Let double destruction mm -hmm. fall upon your enemies. That is spiritual warfare. Amen. And that's how you will pray. Whether you are good or bad, you have to know how to, to fire back the enemy, what they are doing to you. This is the prophet. Do you think you, you are better than prophet Elijah or prophet, mm -hmm. uh, 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 prophet, prophet Jeremiah? Who, who was talking to God, who God was using him mightily. If we can pray such a prayer like this, who are you? Yeah? If Jesus himself, the son of God, he came to destroy, he didn't come to do any good to the devil. He didn't come to babysit the, the, the devil or to be a friend to the, to the devil. He is an enemy. He's, Jesus Christ is a great enemy of the devil. So the, all this, what is happening to your life is about the devil and the devil is using human being 
is using people to damage you, to destroy your life. Like in Amman and the rest of the people who decided to kill the life of people. Now, those pe what, what happened? Why did Naaman die? Because the Esther, the queen, and the rest of the team, all of them went to prayer and fasting. And now, if you know that you have been attacked and you don't know what to do, pray and, and fast and go to the spiritual warfare prayer. This is a spiritual warfare prayer. It is the, the prayer that it will deliver you. And also go for deliverance. Mm -hmm. You need deliverance. You need deliverance so that it can work very, mm -hmm. very effectively. You need deliverance. You need somebody who is strong to break the curses, to remove witchcraft altars, to break the witchcraft altars. They are building against you. I've been talking this all the time. You know, they are building an altar they, to destroy you. Because you don't know how to break this order, you need a spiritual person, a spiritual, a strong spiritual man or a woman of God who knows how to break that, those altars so that you can be free. You know, these wicked people, they are there. But you know, Jeremiah was saying, all what they are doing, not me. Let it double, let everything they are doing doubled and fall upon them in the mighty name of Jesus. Now you can't, 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 you can't pray the prayer that you know, the prayer that, that you know the enemy is destroying you, is killing you, you, you pray for, for, for him and you say, yes, 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 enemy who knows, the, who knows, want, who knows to kill you, who sit down want to kill you, who sit, who knows what is doing, it's not the enemy you can pray with good prayer for that person. It's not an enemy that you can pray good prayer for that person. A witch, yeah. a witchcraft, a wicked person. You know, the Bible says God hates wicked every day. These are the wicked who sit down and they, they gather together. They have a committee. They, they have committee. They sit every day. A group of people decide how you are going to suffer, how they are going to destroy your children, how, they, how you are going to lose your job, how you are going to have sickness which will kill you, how you are going to be crushed on the road. And then these people, you pray for them good prayer. You, you say, God, please help them. Help them. Yes, yes. The devil will help them, not God. He will help them and they will destroy you. So you destroy them. You command double destruction fall upon them. You don't have to pray good prayers to the enemy. Hallelujah. Most people, they, they, are, they have no idea what is going in the spiritual realm. The enemy, the witches, the wizards, they use what we call black candle. Now, black candle, they will call charms and spells, and they will make sure that you suffer. They can affect you while they are mentioning your name, or they can sit on the mat, uh, jingling the bell. They can use the bell, jingling the bell. Ding, 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 ding. So and so, so, they jing the bell. They like to jingle the bell. Now, when they do that, they call your name, and they curse you, and they do you everything, and then those curses and spells will work on you. That's why many people you find a lot of problems in your life. You wonder why I am a child of God. I am a born again Christian. I go to church. Jesus died for me. But why am I facing such a problem? Why can't I be free like Jesus, what Jesus said? And here is a wicked person who chanting day and night and chanting against you. You pray this prayer. Let the double destruction fall upon them and destroy them. Let them die. In the mighty name of Jesus. You can't you can't watch yeah. this. They have to be destroyed by fire, by thunder, in the mighty name of Jesus. Let's look on the book of Psalms, yeah. Psalms 35, verse 8. The book of Psalms 35, verse, verse 8. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Father. My God, I want to thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes, thank you, Jesus. Glory be the name of Jesus. Lord, we love you. Psalm, Psalms 35, verse 8. 8. Yes. Let destruction come upon him unexpectedly, and let his net that he has hidden catch himself. Yes, let let, 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 let the net, more. you know there, let the net that he has prepared for me catch himself. 
Let destruction fall upon them and the net they have prepared for me. The net they have prepared for you. The, 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 the dig, the hole they have prepared to you. Let them enter themselves. That's what the prayer David was praying. David, a man of God, a king who was talking to God, he prayed such a prayer. So you must know how to pray such a prayer. These, these are the people who are traveling David. They were against David. They were fighting David. They were killing. They were chasing David everywhere. So David is saying, let the destruction fall upon them. The nets they are doing, let them catch themselves. They have to catch themselves. Everything they are doing, let it catch themselves. Let it turn and destroy themselves. The, this year, we are going to do a lot of spiritual warfare to stop these wicked children of the wickedness. That will not waste you. The, the children of the wickedness will not waste you. You know there is a blockage. You can have some people who can be a blockage for no reason. Somebody knows that he's not going to marry you. He, he, he just he, he wasting your time. He become a blockage. He, he block you. You can't go anywhere. And they know that he's not taking you anywhere. Some of them, they have a wife somewhere. But they, they lie that they have no married. They are not married. And they are married in another country or somewhere. They have children and a wife. Now, you... You are innocent. You think that, uh, oh, yeah, this man is a good person. He's going to marry me. And then the last minute, he wasted you. He uses you until he dump you like a, like, like, a, like, a, like a garbage. So the broken children of the wicked will not waste you in Jesus' name. You will not be wasted yeah. by children of the wickedness. Any soul tie, anybody in your life. That has been wasting you, wasting your time, wasting your ministry, wasting your work. They will be scattered and landed powerless in Jesus' name. They will be scattered. They will be removed from your life in Jesus' name. Many people, you are going to have uh, different friends because some of them, they will go away. The prayer we are going to have, it will chase all unfriendly friends in your life. You will have the new friends that will, will help you, will stand with you. All unfriendly friends you have, they are going to be scattered. Because no one no one will be your friend if it's a, at night is a witch, is an enemy. They are not going to be with you anymore. I know when we started the church, there was a, a one of us, a, a sister, she was so close to me and then she did she had a problem she didn't want anybody and wherever she see anybody who comes to me he, she goes and kill it and fight this person the person would leave the church would leave the church so this i was wondering what is going on because this woman could go and and even in the church she could look at the, the people very bad eyes she was like i always say what is this what is this god do your will do your will we prayed and I don't know, some of people who were there, we prayed and I said, from Monday, some of people, they will not even come to this service again because they are an enemy and they are, they are, they are broken. So children of the wickedness, they will, not, they will not waste your time. They will not waste you anymore. So I prayed and I asked them to scatter. She scattered. She never came back. She left. And it was a, a terrible thing because she was really killing people. Anybody she sees who is close to me, she was going there for the person. She was like a wild animal. She didn't want anybody to be close to me. Yeah. So I cut the soul tie. I say anybody like this in my life wants to destroy the life of people because of me. Cut it, destroy it, remove it from my life in Jesus' name. Therefore, anybody that is uh, 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 the agents of the devil, yes. Agents of that devil in your life will be destroyed and be removed in your life in Jesus' name. I pray that God Amen. will give you a right, will give you the right people in your life. All unfriendly, all evil people, wicked people that you have, they will really go. You will not hear them calling you. Don't worry. If they don't call you, don't worry because the prayer will scatter them. We, we need we need the, the friends that will stand with you in time of trouble. They, they read it, the true friends who would be praying for you. David was praying against those friends. He said, when they are in problem, I can fast and pray for them. But now they are mocking me. They are cursing me. They are doing for me evil. I have not done to them. Oh God, my father, scatter them. Let their destruction fall upon them. Let their net catch them. That's how, how David was praying. 
Now, if David was praying like that, who are you? And, and I want to stress one thing. Jesus himself. God, God bring Jesus. God gave his only begotten son because of the enemy, because of the devil, to destroy his work. Jesus, God himself, is against the enemy. He's against, he's against, he's against the wicked. Let's look at the book of, uh, of Psalms. Psalm 68, verse 1 to 2. Yes. Psalm 68, verse 1 to 2. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. God, I thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you, Father. Yes, sister. Go ahead. Psalm 68, verse 1 to 2. Yes. Let God arise. Let his enemies be scattered. Let those also who hate him flee before him. As smoke is driven away, so drive them away. As wax melts before the fire, so let the wicked perish at the presence of God. Yes, you know, let the wicked be perished. You know, the, 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 the biggest word there, the strongest word is that, first word, he said, let God arise and his enemy be scattered. What does the Bible say? Is that what the Bible says? Amen. Can you repeat it again, please? Amen. Let God arise, let his enemies be scattered. Let God arise and let his enemy be scattered. Let his enemy scatter, scatter, scatter the enemies. So, which means God has an enemy. God has, if God has enemy, who are you to not have enemy? There is enemies. And the God says in the morning, God was, the scripture we are, we are reading, they were saying that I will be the enemy of your enemies. So God has the enemy. So God has an enemy. And, and the man of God is saying, uh, let God himself arise and let his enemy be scattered. And, and continue, sister. Let those also who hate him flee before him. Yes. As smoke is driven away, so drive them away. Amen. As wax melts before the fire, so let the wicked perish at the presence of God. Let the wicked be perished at the presence of the Lord. So the wicked, they are, they are, they are, they, they, unless they repent, if they don't repent, they will be perished. They will be destroyed. They will be lent and powerless. They will, they will not succeed wherever they are planning against you. Anything they will do, it will go back to themselves. It will go back to the center. Wherever doing, any wicked, my sister, you, you, you are worried about the meeting tomorrow. Don't worry about it. Any wicked will rest against you, will try to avoid you. It, it, they will suffer. Because everything you are doing is you are doing for the kingdom, for the kingdom and, and its frontier thing. Yeah? You are doing for the kingdom and you are doing for good. And here is the enemy, is a child of the devil who wants to stand against that program you are doing. Some of them, they, they, they will not, they will suffer. They will suffer. You don't have to worry about it. Just let God do his will. And you will see how the wicked will be disgraced and exposed. The wicked people, they will be exposed and disgraced. We are not talking about the animal. We are talking about really people, not spirit. They are wicked. Animals, animals is not called wicked. Witchcraft, they are the ones who are using them. Animals, are, they, don't call, they are not called wicked. The, the, the people, human beings, are the ones called wicked. Not even the dead ones, the ones who are alive. They are the ones who are called wicked. Because they are so wicked and wickedly. And God has declared them they will suffer and they will fall down and die in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, Lord, my Father, in the name of Jesus. I want to thank you, God. I want to bless your name. I pray that God Almighty, every power, anything that is working against your life, working against your children, working against your work, let them let them catch fire and burn to ashes in Jesus' name. I pray God will, God Almighty will protect you. You don't have to fear. God is with you. 
God is a mighty God and God is with you. He's going to visit your enemies and destroy them in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray that God will Amen. deliver you in the mighty name of Jesus. The blessings of God will flow Amen. upon you and cover you in the mighty name of Jesus. Wicked and wizards, Amen. wicked, they will not locate you in Jesus' name. The Bible says they Amen. will come. They will come in one way, but they will flee in seven ways. Let your enemies that are coming to you in one way, let them flee seven ways from your, from you in Jesus' name. In the mighty name of Jesus Amen. Christ. Let everything they are doing against you to turn themselves and destroy themselves in Jesus' name. All the plants, Amen. they are using spells, chants. They are using uh, 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 spells against you. I was talking to you, I, I don't know, yesterday. When I look back, what was going on, I didn't understand about spells. They sleep spells which make people to be full. You even your husband can spell on you. You become a fool. You don't know what is going on. She, he can abuse you. He can beat you even to death because you can't do anything. You don't even say anything. Even if you find, even if you are told that your husband is is doing this and this, you you will not accept. You don't know anything. And even women, they are like that. They can spell on their husband. Their husband will become a fool, stupid, stupid. Their hus they, 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 their wife will sit on the woman, will manipulate the woman, will, will uh, manipulate their husband, will put their husband in the box. And the husband cannot breathe, cannot do anything. That is, that, that, there are some spells the women do. And it is very serious. So some some of the spells, uh, the, the 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 most of the women like prostitute business people, they use those those spells. They can spell on people and be people become useless. You go to their stores, you buy things you are not supposed to buy because you are controlled by the the powers of darkness. Any power, any spells, spells on you, on your children, any one of you, let it be furnished. I wash you with the blood of Jesus. I destroy them in the mighty name of Jesus. I call upon the blood of Amen. Jesus and I wash you. I wash you with the blood of Jesus. Let the blood of Jesus wash you and clean you in Jesus' name. I am standing against Amen. every curses that has been issues against you. Every curses. You know, I've said before how they can curse you. People, you have no idea. They just get angry with you for no reason. All they see you, how you are doing. Then they will just go and start cursing you, putting a curse on you. They can hire even a witch. They can hire, they can use money. They are money to hire a witchcraft to curse you. Or to hire even people to come and kill you, to shoot you physically. Some people, they can hire a gunman to come and shoot you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, wherever planning evil against you, it will return to themselves and destroy themselves in Jesus' name. Anyone that is planning Amen. this Christmas as it's coming this whole day, let it that let, let any plans they are planning to turn to turn themselves and destroy themselves in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes. I want to thank God. I bless God because God is a is a great God and is a wonder of God. I thank you that God is He will deliver you and protect you, especially this whole day coming. God will help you. Thank you very much. Thank you. God bless you. I have to stop here. I said it, it, it could not be long, but I think it has been long. I didn't know that it is going to be long like this. Anyway, I want to say thank you so much. Thank you for coming. This is your host, the Prophetess Dr. Christine Sigi, saying bye bye to you. Please go to our website, uh, www.overcomersdhministries.blogspot.ca. Also, if you need to call me, you can always call me. Uh, I am here to pray for you. Would you understand with you? And our number is 905-792-3798. Also, I, we have a, a landline. You can reach us on our, our landline. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. Our landline is 905-487-7196. This number, if you call me, you will find me. If you need prayer, you need deliverance, you need me to break the altar of witchcraft, the altar of poverty. You need me to build you an altar, to raise you an altar. Here I am, I will help you. Because you need an altar before the end of the year. You need to raise up an altar in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, Dr. Rindi, you remember, I was teaching you about the altar. And, the, and this altar, 
Amen. we need to raise an, an altar. If you have not been able to raise an, an altar, go and do so. Call me. And this altar Amen. is not free. The altar always is expensive. Always, you look at the scripture, look at the Bible, how the enemy was was building an altar with a very expensive sacrifice. Gideon, uh, when, when, uh, when Barak hired Baram to cast uh, the children of Israel, he paid it se seven bulls. He, the Baram told him to pay seven bulls to cast to build an altar of, of to, to build an altar of witchcraft. But God says no. So the altar is filled with a lot of money. So you also will, you will, you will, you will sacrifice. You will give an offering to build an altar and destroy an altar of the of witchcraft. Therefore, people of God, I want to thank you so much. Uh, I'll see you tomorrow, tomorrow morning, anytime. I don't have to tell you when when I will be on. So tomorrow morning I will be on. I will be on any time that I, the Holy Spirit will lead me to to be on. I thank you so much. But pep, uh, pep, uh, popcorn, it is on every 9 p.m. every day except the Friday. Friday we don't have prayer. Uh, popcorn, uh, Periscope, Friday I have deliverance prayer. So we don't have, uh, and I want you to continue coming to Periscope uh, and popcorn. So I, 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 I wanted to stop uh, Periscope. But again, the Holy Spirit told me, no, go ahead. But there's a part of, 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 of them that I cannot release to you. Thank you very much. I have to say bye-bye and God bless you. Have a wonderful time. I love you so much and there's nothing I can, I can do about it. You know I love you. Go and see the original video that I was talking to some people because I love them so much. So I said, let me talk to you to show you my love. I will be coming in and talk to you and love you and show you my love and appreciate you. Thank you. Bye bye. <laughs> bye. Bye bye. You take care. Bye. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs>